Parliament, there will be no more um, debates on any other laws on Parliament until August this year. So for the next five months, there will be no new bills passed and all these five important bills, government bills, are actually postponed. Just for what? Just to allow Marang to table the private member's bill. So these questions must be answered by the Prime Minister, must be answered by the component parties of Barisan National. There's no point saying that the government is not tabling, tabling the bill when they actually grant precedence under the instructions of the Cabinet to allow for pass with only 14 MPs in the Parliament, 14 out of 222, given the right to table this bill. Even DAP has more MPs. We have 38 MPs, 36 today. Then uh, uh, PKR has 30, 28 MPs. All of us have more MPs in the House. We are not allowed to table our private members' bill or motions, but pass with only 14 MPs is allowed to table their bills. So there's a clear-cut collusion between Datuk Sri Najib Razak, between BN and PAS, with the political intent of splitting the Malay vote uh, among the opposition and with the political intent to keep hanging on to power despite the fact that he is the most unpopular Prime Minister in the history of Malaysia. And we can see that the entire, entire hoo-ha, braha, was actually designed as a political scheme to distract Malaysians from the crimes that the Prime Minister has committed, mainly the fact that the Prime Minister has stolen billions of ringgit from 1MDB, a wholly owned subsidiary of the government of Malaysia. So we must not fall into the trap put forward by the Prime Minister in collusion with PAS. Uh, Malaysia must hold firmly strong. We will, on the part of DAP, reject the private member's bill brought forward by Marang, but the bigger agenda, the woods that we should not uh, we should not lose sight of is to bring down a kleptocratic administration led by the biggest thief of all in the country, Datuk Sri Najib Razak.